Looks like we're about ready to stream. I just wanted to do something a little different, embarrass myself for a change. If I ever stop, start streaming. Hi, Kate. Kate's got the Fukushima hounds in the chat room already. Looks like we're about ready to stream. So the stream comes in pretty fast. So I'm just, hi, hi, Elaine. Shanikens. Uh, know me first. Uh, I can't pronounce your name, sorry. But I like embarrassing myself sometimes, so I'm going to try to play guitar to myself. It's only a minute long. You can go get a cup of tea or something while you're waiting. <laughs> Takes us five minutes to get these streams up and running. So don't expect anything uh, incredible in the first couple of minutes. And we won't be denied that today. Hi, everybody. I just decided to do a quick stream. A little blues. I know this wasn't scheduled. Um, but let's try that little stream. I wanted to do a little song. I just put this together as a strike out blues or something. I lost it. What I'm saying that's what I'm trying to prove here it's okay to make mistakes I'll get the volume back up for everybody good morning everybody hello everybody how are you everybody let me get that out of my ear so I'm not listening to my buddy <laughs> I was just listening to my buddy in the other ear <laughs> now we're gonna get along with these pictures today I don't know sometimes I'm getting there I'll come over and say hi to people so as I can bring up a suitable picture. And how Japan is at war. Yeah, is at war. So I got you over here. Might as well, I got to come over here anyway to turn off the Adobe. No Adobe for Dana today. Let me do that again. Hang on. Done something wrong. Hang on, no panic. We're getting there. And so, it takes me five minutes to warm up. It sounded good. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was a uh, quite a mess there that time <laughs> because my headphones, to where I, I got the extension, it pulls apart, and all I was getting on my end was this like, <laughs> and so I can't hear what I was doing on line. Blah. Hang on a second, I gotta get rid of that. I gotta get rid of that Adobe player. Hey, Mr. Adobe, because he's chewing up bandwidth, right? Yoink. There it goes. Hi, everybody. Terry Ann, Albert, Kate, Shanikin, uh, Ness. I scream, you scream for you. I'm sorry. Got your name wrong. Hi, Mike. Uh, where's Dave? <laughs> <laughs> now he came over and spammed he came over and thanks Elaine he came over and spammed Dave from yesterday he didn't write me a letter and said Dana he kind of rode my ass a little hard there today Dana I'm just a normal everyday person Dana message for all the future trolls but anyway what he done was he showed up at my YouTube account 
with a mass of uh, ghost accounts going all the way back to 2007. Ghost accounts. And their Google pages have 40, 50, 60,000 uh, views on it, but nothing else on it. And so Dave yesterday, who was writing those names in the comment section trying to get me arrested, well, is a certified troll, a nuclear PR troll. And so we outed him yesterday. I guess he lost his funding over that one for that particular episode that he was up to. How interesting is that? And so the PR firms are hard at work trying to demonize me, marginalize me, and misrepresent everything I'm saying. Hi, everybody. Mickey, Matt, Jim, uh, Adam, Yar, Kate, Shanikin. And so... I know live stream is a nut place for everybody to get used to. You should try what I'm doing all the day, every day. <laughs> you think getting the live stream is tough? Just try to be the guy who get it out there. <laughs> uh, I was going to take the day off. I passed out like 8.30 last night, and I woke up about 40 minutes ago. And so I set this up and I started playing guitar and I was like, maybe I'll come up with another intro song or something, right? And I was like, hey, why don't you just go ahead and embarrass yourself, Dan? It'd be a lot easier because you haven't got the time. I said, okay, I'll just I'll whip up a little song or uh, a, a ditty and then try to improvise. And so what I done was, I, and this is important though, but what I done was I took a well-known song and I, I, I changed everything about it. But it's still... You know, if I was to work on it and I was a band or something like that, I can make something out of it. That's all I'm saying. And, and I give it a nice new sound, a nice fresh. That's what I'm doing right now with Fukushima. All day, every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Oom, oom, oom. Plumping, plowing, and banging heads. But I'm not, I'm not a bad person for going out on the coastline, am I? Am I a bad person... Are you bad people for supporting me and allowing me to go out and look at the coastline, document it? Does that make anybody a bad person? Of course not. Does that make anybody uh, worthy of being vilified in the media for going out and taking pictures of the coastline? How could that be such a bad thing? Uh, if you look at urchins could be the next victims of sea star wasting diseases. I'll get that moniker out of the way. Virus destructed the Pacific coastline. That was Smithsonian in April. And so far, urchin die-offs have been observed and documented at four sites along the 200 miles. And because of that, and another place, at one single spot, they issued a mass mortality event for sea urchins. Now, sea urchins are the most popular thing in the ocean, like in the tidal zones, all the way down to 900 feet. All the way down to 900 feet. And that they're in football fields everywhere. That I used to pick 20,000 of them a day every day for years in boat oceans, many times, besides everything else I've done. That was one of my favorite things to do, though, unfortunately. I regret everything when I look back on it. I understand that's the human thing, but I regret all, you know, my, my whole career uh, out in the ocean, everything about it, all the fish. Oh, yeah, you know, that's something for many years I've been like that before Fukushima happened. Something I've come to terms with on my own. Wish I wasn't a fisherman, and then I'm proud to be a fisherman. In many senses, on top of that. Very confusing times for the average person on the planet. Okay, so, big whoop. Um, sea urchins, four spots are wiped out. What if somebody, not mentioning no names, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. See all those earls? That's what we've done. We've done it in that boat coming up at some point. And instead of looking like this throughout the coastline, now that, that picture is from this spot. This is after Fukushima. That's pre-Fukushima. But that picture could be anywhere on the coastline of Canada. That's emblematic of everything in Canada. So is this. It's a broken picture, I know, because I got... Um, I don't know how to undo what I got done to it. But anyway, every square millimeter of the coastline should look like that. Instead, it's naked. There's a couple of tawny uh, algaes hanging on. But the coastline is naked. There's no color. 
There's no uh, reason to go there. There's nothing there to see. It's the most boring experience imaginable. And I took around 3,000 pictures out of that Louise Narrows in the Queen Charlotte Islands. That was just one of those arrows. So we've done the whole coastline. We've done it in the Zodiac because there's melted reactors. At Chernobyl in 2006, the Guardian, Vidal had said, the third sentence, for the next 10 days, speed equivalent of 400 Hiroshima bombs worth of radioactivity um, into the ocean, right? Now, we have these modelings. We have those models. And these models are only based up on a single release from a single reactor for a short period of time. Right? We have... Um, so you can see the radioactive activity hitting Canada, United States, going through the other end of Canada and into the Atlantic Ocean. Now that's just a single release from a single reactor for just a couple of days. Most of these models I'm going to show you are based upon that reactor only. They don't include that one. That's confirmed 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out, and gone. They don't know where the fuel pools and everything are gone. I don't need to tell you about those two, but I will. They're gone. This was MOX fuel. This was mixed oxide fuel. And so this is number four. That's totally destroyed. But what they told you was that it looks like that on the inside and that the ceiling of that destroyed building looks like this. Does that make any sense? And that if you look at this, you can't come up with that. That should be a green pool, not that color. And that's because I got something done with this thing. Let me see if I can fix that while we're sitting here. I'm making no uh, promises. Probably going to get in trouble when I click this. Too late, I clicked it. And so, this building, right, that building was torn away. I just cruising. Illusion is over. The global yes. Uh, hang on a second. I'm going to bring up a comment left on my video yesterday. So I can all revel in it. Let's break this one down because I'm getting sick of nonsense. And I get a lot of nonsense sometimes. But I don't know where some of these people are coming from. This one is Moto. Here it comes. I'll bring up the comments on the other computer. <clears throat> Dana, you are constantly giving wrong info on the new roof comment. Now, he's talking about number four. I was just showing you. I do agree the crane area pictures are doctored, but the proof is the new roof from the shroud put around that part of the building. Your constant refusal to acknowledge and correct this part of your broadcast discredits you and anyone with common sense can see that the roof part is the new shroud. Please consider correcting this. It is bad journalism. Okay, all right, yeah. Well, let's let everybody in the comment section. And so, folks in the comment section, I'm going to come over there after I show you the pictures. And it takes around 30 seconds for your comments to show up. So what they're saying is, um, what they're saying in every sense of this word, let me see if I can find... So that's number four you're looking at. That's number four. Number four. That's what he's talking about. We'll come back to the comment in a section. Okay, we'll come back to it right now. i got to get rid of that to come back to it. Gotcha. Dana, you're constantly wrong about giving info on the new roof comments. I do agree the crane areas are doctored. I've never said that. I've never mentioned those words. So who are you agreeing with? But the roof is new roof. The roof is the new roof. Well, no one told us to put a new roof anywhere. From the shroud, put around that part of the building. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, so inside of that building is this roof. Okay. And that roof is part of those structures they built up. Okay. And there's the roof. It's inside of that, yeah? Well, we're not talking about that building. That's not the, that's the fuel pool. When they pan the camera up from here, it looks like that up there. Yeah? Okay, did I get that straight for you? 
And if the roof looked like that, how did, why did they got that dirt? And if the fuel pool looks like that, why did they got that dirt? Because it looks like that. Right? They tore it all down. So the fuel pools were up there, way above that. They were above the top of the, they were level with the reactor shroud at the top of it, at the top of the building. The reactors, it was, that's why it was 10 stories high, because the reactor is so tall. Hello, anybody home? I'll try to fix that, whatever I got done to those pictures. It's about, because um, it's really driving me crazy. Let me try one more time, see if I can figure this out. I must have done something wrong. So I know what I've probably done wrong. Hang on. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, I'm afraid to touch anything. Oh, oh, so that's what I got done wrong. Okay. Wah! Okay. So let's run through that again. That beautiful pool and that beautiful roof is inside of that piece of metal to your left. Or are you saying it's inside of that? If it's inside of that, how come when you look at the video and you scan up, it looks like that? So maybe I'm just postulating here you're wrong and I'm right. I know it's a bit of a shot in the dark here and everything. But see, I got 5,000 pictures of the reactors. That's why I say the things I say. Meanwhile... For anybody that's not familiar, you can catch these live streams seven days a week, hopefully, six days a week, hopefully, at livestream.com. If you type in Dana Durnford, and you'll see that picture alongside of my name down there in the lower thirds, right? That picture will show up when you type my name in. And it's 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time. And so that's daylight time, working hour times right across the country. North America. And that's why I do it 10.30 a.m. It's a good slot. It's a tough slot, mind you. And, okay. <coughs> Let's get on with why Dana says Japan is at war with Canada. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. And the shrug doesn't touch the unit. Elaine says, uh, uh, let me find a more simple way to get rid of all of that. Yeah, oh, up, up, oh, give me one second, I'm almost there. Ha, ha, hippie, oh. There you go. That'll make everybody happy. Whoa. Dana Durnford, the nuclear cartologist. Too much bling bling. So, mate. Meltro melt out. No fuel has been recovered. Mickey says. We're at the comment section. Let's finish that up. We'll come back. Yeah, and people are shown on the inside. I think that's a green screen, Elaine. Right? When we do see the videos, that's not Fukushima nuclear power plant. I can assure you, as you know, right? And so that's where everybody kind of gets lost in the confusion. They see that, and they can't wrap their mind around what the issue is, Right? But inside of that, see, they don't understand that. They don't understand that there's no way that that is in there. There's, there's no way for that to happen, right? And so when you look at what's left of the building and then you try to claim that that is inside of it, but um, if you take a good look at it, you can't get in there. You can't get in Unit 3. You can't get in Unit um, 1, right? You can't get in Unit 2, right? And you can't get in Unit 3, so how the hell could you get in Unit 4 and do that or that and not tell the whole world, look at what we done and show us the documentary. How come PBS didn't roll that one out? You know what I'm saying, right? Well, because it's not true. See? Okay. So Japan is at war with Canada. There's no doubt about this. That's indisputable. And America and every other country on the planet. Today's headline is Canada, blah. Okay. So this model was, uh, if I remember correctly, this one in particular is a Japanese institution. 
and it was just based upon Unit 2. And it was only based upon a couple of isotopes for a couple of days, and it's not based upon all the meltdown, melt-throughs, or melt-outs, or the ongoing constant releases for four and a half years. Now, Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. So all the plumes that you hear about in referral to the media is about a single plume. They're talking about this particular, say, this particular plume right here. That's all they talk about in the media. They don't talk about it's an ongoing constant that all the reactors melted down. And so what Japan has done is they donated a lot of money to clean up the tsunami debris along the coastline of Canada and encouraged it. But they didn't donate a nickel for Geiger counters. And that they rolled out the academics uh, PR firms for the nuclear industry from UVic and Woods Hole. That's all you've ever heard of if you're listening to mainstream media. I'm not allowed to talk about anybody in particular, but Woods Hole and UVic and the FBI and the RCMP at Saanich in uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Constable Steve Crooks, conspired for the last year and a half to censor me on the internet and successfully done that without a warrant. They violated every right I got. And so we, we are going to address that. And by the way, you know, I talked to three lawyers on Friday. Two of them laughed at me and hung up on me. I said, no, I can't help you. No, sorry, man. <laughs> so I phoned up the Bar Association. And they made a lawyer talk to me. Don't know if that's going to work out or not either. But that's around 14 or 15 lawyers that wouldn't that turn me down flat out. But this is a cakewalk. This is a joke to beat them in court. We got the disclosure from them. They got nothing. They literally got nothing. So I'm being railroaded. I'm being set up. I'm being taken out. And then I'm being vilified at the Globe and Mail, CBC, the Japanese Times, claiming that I was arrested for death threats when I'm arrested for criminal harassment of the nuclear PR puke machines. That says there's no radioactive fallout. That says these models don't exist. That says there's no way for the stuff to get here. And if it did, if you did it accidentally ingest some of it, it couldn't hurt you. That there's so much more potassium out there that why am I worried about the stuff from Japan? Well, because the stuff from Japan is the stuff that I'm supposed to worry about. The natural stuff, no one's worried about it. Why would I worry about it? Everything on the planet is acclimated to it through genetic superior selection. The stuff that's coming over from Japan is war. That's a war. A war against our food, our water. Just going to war against our water is right for us to go back to war against them. We have every right to go to war against these people that are in power. They have gone to war against us. They are murdering us. And the people at Uvic and Woods Hole that are telling everybody to go ahead and eat the fish, that's murder. That's murder. That's criminal. That's vicious. That's violent. That's dangerous people. When someone tells you to go ahead and eat the fish, and they don't tell you that there's radio, that there's four melted reactors, that it lost all the inventory in the fuel pools, that the whole coastline lost power, and that many reactors melted down, and that Chernobyl only lasted 10 days, these things have never stopped. That's murder for the people who know better. For the people who are in a position to know better, who went through the documentation, and who knows better, and comes out and tells you it's okay. That's murder. For the EPA that turned off the monitors, those people, that's murder. You never hired them to turn it off. You hired them to go buy more. That's murder, in every sense of the word. The Canadians that flew along the coastline on March the 18th and produced this one for Health Canada, that's murder. These people are guilty of murder. That was their names, right? They're murderers. In every sense of that word. That's mur These people are murderers. They didn't inform the population. It got leaked out, but they didn't inform the population. They done the modeling. They, they showed all of that. They showed the radioactive fallout, the sharp uh, features of it. Right? And, but they never released it to the public. France... France released it to the public. A little leg there that time. So that's not murder. Noah hid it away, but it came out. So that's, that's they're guilty of murdering people because they didn't have a chance to try to protect themselves. 
Remember in the 50s and the 60s, they were telling everybody to build a bomb shelter because the Ruskies might attack them. I got to import those pictures in there for the next stream so people can really wrap their minds around it. But what Health Canada done? That's murder. By not telling the Canadians to shelter in place. That was murder. In every every context of that word. No, di no different than what you, Vic, and Woods Hole is doing to everybody in the media by telling them there's nothing to worry about. That's murder. They can come out and sing a different song right now. It doesn't matter. It's still, they're guilty of murder. A lot of people died from their voice. No one died from my voice if they took it. Because I didn't give any bad advice. I didn't give any, and I, and I knew the difference. They knew the difference, and they told you bad advice. That's murder. But who cares, right? Arrest Dana. Demonize Dana in the media. Japan had a 9.0 earthquake. I got arrested a few weeks ago if you don't know what's going on. A tsunami ran through everything. It blew up. The reactors melted down. 100% meltdown. Melt through is melt out at four reactors. One, two, three, and four. Chernobyl was one third the size. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Remember the Japanese used to send balloons over, the fire balloons, right? Remember they showed up everywhere throughout the country, these big balloons, because the jet streams are actually real. The ocean currents are real. The modeling I was showing you is real. They put a fire hose on it because that was symbolic. It needs a million gallons a minute, every minute, 1,440 minutes a day. If it doesn't get its water, it melts down. Japan didn't warn us, and now they continue to attack people like me, so you can't know. So they are at war with you. That is war. Your institutions are at war with you because they demonize me. The Globe and Mail is selling uranium stocks and demonizing me. The Globe and Mail is selling uranium bonds and demonizing me. The Globe and Mail is selling uranium shares and demonizing me and vilifying me. So they can make a few more dollars. They don't care about anything or even themselves. We have, we have lost, we, they have lost their way. Japan, if a nuclear power plant doesn't get a power in um, 90 minutes, it starts to melt down. This is hundreds of miles of the coastline. Look the videos up on YouTube. Just go get a map of Japan and then look at the tsunami damage along the coastline on YouTube. Watch the video. Watch it. Just go watch it. Take a few hours and, and go hunt down the videos and go watch it. And you see all the nuclear power plants along the coastline were affected just like Japan. Japan wasn't, the, the tsunami didn't just come in and hit your, Fukushima. And the debris took out the power of the country, of, that, of all those nuclear power plants along that area. That's well known, see? But what's, well, what's not well known, because they tell you it's like a banana, is that a nuclear reactor melts down 90 minutes later. And so that's why we have a death of the Pacific Ocean. Because it's not like Chernobyl, one-third the size of 30% meltdown that stops after 10 days. No. Fukushima didn't stop. Chernobyl, there's over a million confirmed dead. 3,500 studies published in the New York uh, Medical Journal from a translated 3,500 studies. Three, Coffee Anna said 3 million children. Permanent disabilities. Permanent disabilities because cancer is the last one to show up. There's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies. And the beaches are naked throughout Canada, 260 days, 15,000 miles, a couple of hundred thousand pictures, and the coastline didn't recede itself with the other 4 million species. And so Japan told us not to worry about what that, they're lying to us, they're at war with us, they're killing us, they're killing you, they're killing your loved ones. Japan is lying to themselves. They're, they're, they're cleaning up the stuff, but they say there's no radioactive fallout. Throughout the countries like this, Fukushima has over 10,000 spots like this. 10,000. That's a confirmed number. Chernobyl. They abandoned all the homes, plowed them down. Fukushima, free homes if you're pregnant. Free homes if you're pregnant. So they're at war with themselves too. They're at war with the most vulnerable, the ones that are not even born. The ones that are gestating. 
There's a lot of stillbirth and deformed babies down there. Just like Fallujah. Look what we've done in Fallujah. Look what we've done in Iraq and Afghanistan to get 10,000 bad guys. Think about what we've done. For goodness sake, will you think about what we've done? Think about what we support it. Think how we were tricked into it. You know what, Dan? It was, we had to go get the Taliban. Did you? Do you even know what you just said? Do you know what you even just thought? For 10,000 people in Afghanistan, you got millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps. For 10,000 people, you got 5 million orphans. For 10,000 people. You destroyed the whole country, all the patents that people hold their pensions to. There's 6 million in refugee camps still. Then you went over to Iraq to get 10,000, the same 10,000 people. Millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps to get 10,000 people. They didn't do nothing to you. They didn't do a single thing to you. They didn't do 911. Go look at my billing, billing six on my site. Beautiful girl by Dana. That's been eviscerated by the nuclear cartel, by Uvic and Woods Hole and the FBI and the RCMP and Sandage, Constable Steve Crooks. Look what they've done to me. Look how soulless they really are. To, to hide the war of Japan against us. To hide the war against all of us. Against every breathing, living thing on this planet. We're in a nuclear war. You don't realize it yet. I feel hope for you still. You vilify me yet. I feel hope for you still. Because at some point you're going to have to come on board whether you like it or not. At some point you're going to be fighting on the same side as I am. At some point. You, they're not going to protect you. They don't care about you. You're disposable. To them. That's proof of what Japan is at war with Canadians and everybody else. They've already killed the Pacific Ocean. It didn't recede itself. The 5,600 species are missing from the coastline. We've done that whole coastline. We've earned that right to, to be the ones to say this. That You can't get away from that, can you? Now, that's only representation of what we've really done. All those inside passages, we've done all those too. I know in a three-day period, I covered 700 miles of those inside passages because it was too rough on the outside looking for birds. And I probably found a couple of hundred in three days when I should find several thousand every square mile. Is that not, is that not a genocide? To take out the four million species that are in the Pacific Ocean and pretend that nothing is wrong. Is that not criminal? Is that not how wars are fought? Is that, the, is that, like, if you're coming after us, fine. But to take out every other species on the planet? And then the only person out there who gets in your face and exposes you for everything that you really truly are, the, the, the bag of bones that you really are, the empty soulless sockets that your eyes hold, is me. And so you can't stand that. You can't stand it because you've been able to hide away in the dark. When someone shines a light on you, you feel that and that hurts and that burns because you're a predator and predators of the worst type. You do anything for a paycheck and you couldn't survive in any other job, only the jobs that you got. That's your niche. And you're really good at it because you're soulless, because you're heartless and you think you're... Um, doing the right thing because of your ideology that you've been indoctrinated to. And that it's okay to come out and smear me and attack me when none, you know it's not true. There's people out there with sites, of videos of all kinds of people under their sites saying they're my neighbor or my niece or my friend or this and that. When I don't know who these people are. These are not nobody I've ever met. But they went out and got people to make those videos in order to attack me. And then they're still saying making up laws about Unit 4. Still trying to cling to that with everything they got. Because if we take, when that's taken away from them, then everything they've ever said they understand, nobody will ever trust them again, including their loved ones. And so the only person out there talking about Unit 4 is me. That is so pathetic. That is so, that is so wrong. That is so frightening. That a simple, provable hoax, provable, over every way to Sunday is provable. It's a hoax. The unit for that anything that's 
fuel pool. I mean, my goodness. And they're still attacking me, claiming, claiming that the inside of this is somehow like that. And that it looks like that at the roof. And then to try to cover up what I'm showing, they say it's the roof of that. But when they show the videos inside of the building, we know they're not true. That's not the building. There's no way that can be the building. They pan up and show that. And RT done it. CBC done it. ABC was down there. BBC was down there. All the little dummy alphabet corporate personhood machine mongrel war machines. MSNBC is owned by the world. General Electric makes nuclear weapons, nuclear reactors, and everything else. You think they're going to come out and say nuclear is bad? You think Fox is going to come out? Someone like Rupert Murdoch is going to come out? Who's the most evilest thing imaginable? Should be locked up for crimes against humanity a long time ago. How is he any different from Gerbil? Gerbil, or whatever you want to call him. Propaganda machine. Used to come out and smear people that is exposing the inner workings of a demented, unsustainable, untenable machine. Yeah, we gotta go we gotta go twenty thousand drone strikes and because there could be a couple of Taliban left over there, and we got to do it in Syria and Lebanon and Yemen and everywhere else on the planet. And we got to take away, we got to grope 700 million people a year because one of them might be a Taliban. But back to Japan's war on us. Back and forth. Ocean currents are real. I know that's a bit of a shock to everybody. I know that. What, Dana, really? Yeah, Dana, but it takes forever. No, it takes 45 days. Five miles an hour to cross your current, Pacific Garden, travels right across. Travels faster than that, man, yeah, but the rain, tens of thousands of miles of rain being liberated. We know that the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs from the salt water sprayed on the reactors in the first 40, 50 days. Right, they brought in pumps because there was no power. They weren't. The reactors need a million gallons a minute. After 90 minutes, game over. So the earthquake disabled everything. The tsunami took out everything. There was no way to shut the reactors down or stop them throughout that coastline. The whole coastline was like that. What part about this? See, this is an emergency. This is. This is urgent that we we stop this masquerade. We can't we can't hide the death of the Pacific Ocean any longer. We cannot hide the fact that the phytoplankton, the krill, the anchovies, the sardines, the squid, the herring, the salmon are gone. Because all the mammals are dependent upon them, they're all starving to death and they're all dying over the last couple of years and herds. And that the radiation will group animals together. So you'll see these mass strandings and these mass uh, clusters of animals showing up in weird spots, but nowhere else on the coastline because that's the spot where the oxygen is still there and they, they're trapped there. And that's the end of it, though. That's the death throes when you see that. It's game over, see? It's like a fisherman drying up a big trap. And there's only a little corner there. And then the fish got nowhere to go, and he take the brailers and he brail them out and into the boat. It's over. It's done. Some of them will flop out of the way and take off, and maybe you know they'll suffocate within weeks, because there's nowhere to go for the fish. It's killing all the oxygen in the ocean. The ocean out here is heated up seven degrees. We've lost all the snow in the mountains of British Columbia. Chernobyl used graphite fuel. Chernobyl, one-third of size, 30% meltdown, stopped after 10 days. Fukushima didn't stop. Chernobyl was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs in 10 days, but it stopped. If it had been 20, Chernobyl would have been equal to 800 Hiroshima bombs. Blah, blah, blah. Chernobyl, Fukushima is equal to millions at this stage. It's equal to about 1,080 uh, when you count the, the fuel pools because it's consuming rocks. It's in a chain reaction. It's eating everything around it, atomizing, aerosoling, ionizing, and radiating.
everything in the country. And everything on this country, rather. Because the chain reaction, every time they have a tremor and they have thousands down there a year, stuff falls down onto the melted core. The melted core is consuming everything around it as it's digging its way in the earth. The salt water they sprayed on it is like nuclear bombs every... Well, you think about what a nuclear bomb was, it's just a few pounds. Think about these reactors are millions of pounds. Think about a nuclear bomb, it burns at such millions of degrees temperature for a split second. It's able to atomize and, and it's able to destroy a lot of this stuff and solidify it and bond it with rocks. Or the material itself that was there. But the reactors are burning at a constant temperature. Enormous, but a constant temperature. And so everything around it becomes radiated. It's like a screwdriver. You put it on a battery, now you can pick up metal with your screwdriver. So when radiation is falling on everything, it's ionizing and radiating that too. And that's exactly what happened and continues to happen. Think about a snowstorm, but now I want you to think about it underwater. But I want you to think that way though. I want you to think of a snowstorm falling out of the sky, but then still falling into the water tables all the way to the ocean floor, but suspending itself. So now I want you to think about a radiated ocean that looks like a snowstorm when you're underwater. But I don't want you to think about it any other way for a second. I want you to think about it as a snowstorm in a glass bubble where you shake it up. Maybe that makes sense for you? And just think about living in that environment. All You went from an environment that didn't have that snowstorm to an environment that does. Now you can't see very far because it's a snowstorm in the ocean. You know how a snowstorm is, you got your wipers on, you got your headlights on, right? And you're being careful, you can't see very far. And everything around you that's familiar to you is covered. Uh, and so that's what Japan done to the ocean, but also done to us in this entire planet and continues to do to this entire planet. And so Japan doesn't try to stop it because they only bring in the homeless and, and the migrants and the people who don't speak the language and the people that owes the mob money. And these are what they call disposable people. Because that's what's happening. And that Japan has no intention of emitting anything, particularly about contaminating our country and our water and our food supply. But it has well known, go look up Health Canada drinking water standards, and you see tritium and strontium and cesium and iodine as a standard for your drinking water. These are people who've done that are guilty of murder because they coerced people into thinking that was safe and because they didn't try to fix it because that's what we paid them to do, to come up with solutions, not, not, not to put a, block, a, 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 a graft on their page and said it's okay. Thanks for the billions of dollars. Here's a graft. See, I can't sit here and accept that. I'm not going to sit here and be... Uh, live in fear by that. I'm not going to say these people are so powerful, nobody can change anything. Because I don't believe that. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I can change anything because I believe that. But I, I do believe I can try. And I do believe that I can educate enough people to change their lives a bit for the better. And I do believe that if I had an opportunity to talk to the masses, instead of mass panic, I can, I can console them. And I can put them on the right path forward. Because I understand what the issues are. And the significances. And the nuances. And the minutiae. Of the minutiae. Of the minutiae. Of the details. And that when people try to trick us and deceive us. Because they only want to put a graph up for a billion dollars. I know that's a lie. And we can hold them accountable. So I'm going to announce right now. That I'm running for the Prime Minister of Canada. At the next elections. You heard it right here for the first time. And I know I've told a few of my friends in the last number of days I will be running for the Prime Minister of Canada if we make it to the next election. That's for sure. And not that I expect to get elected. It's just that I understand that people will come to mock me and then they're stuck with my narrative. And they can't mock me, but they can ignore me. And they will, but they're stuck with my narrative. And that if I don't do that, then I betrayed everybody and every species and our entire existence and our future 
and their loved ones at the same time. And so that the burden that's on my shoulder is the fact that nobody else will talk about it, so the burden is mine. And no one will talk about it in a, lethar in a, in, in a, in a realistic, simple as I've done today. Show the pictures. Show, show, show the difference. Show the comparisons. Show the, show the actual implications. Chernobyl contaminated the EU. And Fukushima has killed the Pacific Ocean. And just about every species on this planet in four and a half years is uh, got a death sentence. Because it's not like a banana. A banana, your body equalizes. Potato chips, it's not like potassium-40. Your body just gets rid of the excess potassium. This stuff you sequester into your organs, into your muscles, into your bones, into your pelvis, and you start making mutated stem cells. You flood your body with white blood cells because your body is attacking these foreign invaders because they have a extra electron attached to them. They're no longer potassium atomic weight. Now they have an extra weight because they have extra electrons. They're from a chain reaction. That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear waste sites. You okay, Zoe? Zoe, if everything's shaking, it's because Zoe's just woke up and she went through her normal pruning routine. Her fur is extraordinarily good, I must say, though, the last number of weeks since we finally come off the ocean, finally settled down. After 260 days of doing the whole coastline. Zoe, okay, go somewhere else. Go on. You can't do it there because you're shaking the camera. Go ahead. Oh, God, help us. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you don't know the trouble that dog is. Look at all the meltdowns. Think about that. Think about the implications of just a single meltdown for a couple of days when you think about Chernobyl, yeah? yeah. All of Japan is contaminated. 60,000 kilometers occupied by 46 million people again. Do you think that's not going to show up at some point? Do you think Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute, who done all the studies on beagle dogs and beagle puppies for almost four decades, and all the dogs died? The feds abandoned Fukushima radioactive monitoring. News blackout over mystery barrels in Lake Superior. Geiger counter. No immediate health threat to public is what they say. They say that every single time. At what point are you going to call them on it? Because I have. I'm tired of doing it, but I'll never give it up. We are unable to control the radioactive water seep seeping. They seem to tell me it's just bleeding out. No, it's hemorrhaging. It's unimaginably destructive just a single day. Unmitigated with just a homeless deer is a betrayal of, of unimaginable. 400 tons. See, what they're talking about there is they're spraying water in and that 400 tons is getting out. It's washing over. They're not talking about all the stuff that's coming down through the mountain behind it and filtrating through the, the soil and bringing along all the rods that are buried under all that pavement and cement they put there. They plowed it all in, they brought in pavement and cement, and they, they paved over it about five feet high. Then they brought in the homeless, right? These were all homeless anyway. And so all the water that gets down through all of this runs over the rods, they're splitting the atom the whole time. None of, uh, a pound of that will kill everything on the planet if you were to bring them through a theater with 1,500 people, every 20 minutes they'd be dead from the radiation of a single pound. What's millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds throughout hundreds of miles of coastline going to do, I wonder? And, and the fires and the detonations and the explosions. We know for two years the massive amount of water flows under the Fukushima plant. I can explain why they kept it a secret because they're at war with Canada and everybody else. Japan's government, they ain't got a government. They got a dictatorship of maniacal monsters, of dangerous people, completely out of control. The melting reactor cores and contaminating the Pacific with a full range of radioactive material, 2013, it never changed. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. But Chernobyl, you still can't eat the meat. 
drink the milk, sell the land in parts of the UK, and in Sweden, only two years ago, did they start fishing in the fresh water again? Because they said, the hell with it, it'll all be gone soon. You know, they should never went back. Cesium doesn't disappear that they're talking about, neither do all the other isotopes. But remember, Chernobyl was graphite, right? Chernobyl... Chernobyl is nothing like Fukushima. Chernobyl is a candlestick to Fukushima. Chernobyl is insignificant to Fukushima. Don't ask me, I don't know what happened that time. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep going. 1121, we're almost done. 10 minutes to go. Hi, everybody. I see you in the comment section. You know, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to be silent and pretend this never happened? Is that what we are supposed to do? Well, I can't be silent and pretend it never happened. 400 tons a day, minimum, that's just spraying over. Radioactive iodine in Pennsylvania rainwater sample was over 3,000% at the federal drinking water standard. There's 10 times more 132. They didn't bother telling you about that, did they? That ionizes and radiates the thyroid glands nine times more effectively. Eh, why bother telling you that? Or the fact that there's 30 times more 133 iodines. That has that same principle. And there's 31 times more iodine 129. Why, why not multiply 3,000% by 31? And that stuff doesn't last eight days. It lasts... 15 million years, the 129. But let's tell them about iodine 131 because it only got an eight-day half-life. And so if somebody gets concerned, somebody else will say, well, I've seen it only got an eight-day half-life, so I don't know what the big whoop is all about. Because the lawyers murdered them by telling them not to worry, by telling them not to take precautions, by proliferating more nuclear out there to say, well, if it was bad, they wouldn't be proliferating more of it out there, Dana. Unfortunately, that's not true. So this was the Norwegian Institute for Ear Research. We showed you that model earlier. And Japan, uh, two institutions, Japan uses the same color and the same type of model. So I'm not sure which one was which earlier that I showed you. That could have been Japan, it could have been them. But why believe the Norwegian Institute? Why believe any institute, and I showed you many, Australia, New Zealand, I'm sorry, Switzerland, um, France, Canada, United States, over time, Radionuclides are being released continuously into the ocean. Mixed fuel. Melted fuel from reactor 3 is highly lethal mixed oxide or mixed uranium plutonium oxide. You don't have to be the last to attempt fuel removal, says new plant. And so what they're saying is they removed the fuel. That statement is all about claiming they removed the fuel from number 4. Number 4 doesn't exist. Number four lost its entire inventory by March the 18th. That's in the NRC emails. You can go to the NRC site and find the emails. There's millions of them there. And most of it's redacted. Unusual amount of smoke and billowing. Unusual amount of smoke. Right, think about that statement. Unusual amount of smoke billowing from... Unit 3 and 4. Okay, let's go look at Unit 3 and 4. Does that look like an unusual amount of smoke for a building like that? Or how about that building? Does that look like an unusual amount of smoke? Does that... does? What are they talking about? I tell you what they're talking about. They're lying to you. They're deceiving you, right? That's what that was all about. Tokyo Electric Power Company, Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency, and the Japanese government... Said they don't understand. Steam is coming from the spent fuel pool number three and four. That's May 11th. That's May to May 11th. This happened in March the 13th. I'm sorry. I smurfed that up. This happened on March the 13th and the 14th. Not May 11. What smoke? What steam? What building? What are you talking about? There's no building there. 
You should say out of the destroyed structures, not building. How can you call that a building? How can you call that a building? Because that's three and four. Anyway, don't ask me what I just done. I don't know sometimes what I do. And you don't know either, so don't have a cow, man. Anyway, what can I say? Outside of hugs for everybody. I can't do it without you. That's what I do every day. I work like a dog. We're still trying to raise money for the talk back so I can do interviews. I'm mastering all the equipment I already got. And let me see if I can bring that up. Something to do. Hang on a second. I got to pump this till I get it. Every day. That's what it takes for me to get me hands on it. It'll show up in a second here. I'll get rid of me moniker. Dina, get rid of that stuff. Think. Okay, talk, show, live Skype. So it's all in one box. It's $4,995 delivered here in Canada. And so far we raised about $250. That's awesome. And so we're trying to raise enough money so that we can bring in high quality um, chats into the live streams and in for, you know, we can do interviews and post it also. Extremely high quality. Um, it replaces your video with a picture automatically so you can maintain the high quality audio. Uh, it's a very important part of the equation so that we can come out and bludgeon the nuclear industry day in, day out with all kinds of smart people, hopefully much smarter, much more endearing than I am and able to get out there and has their own audiences and we got to push this message with everything we got and so that's not bad 5,000 bucks another 4,750 or so to go and Canadian and then we are empowered on a large scale and I pretty well got everything at that stage don't I I mean yeah you know to be a real media you need you know people you need a I'm not really, I guess. You just need to do what I'm doing. But I need to take it to the level where I can bring in conversations. And that Skype box, I can bring in, like if people want to phone in on the Skype, or even on video on the Skype and come in for a few moments, then we can do that too, see? Pretty awesome. And we get the copyright to everything on top of that. And so the, all the lectures and all that. Now I can run... I can run um, I can run right down the gauntlet of why we need to do this, but I'm not going to today. But coming up soon, if I don't get it, my equipment, I'll do show after show about it <laughs> until I get it. I'm going to get it. At all costs, I'm having it because we got to have it. <coughs> so don't expect to stream tomorrow. And that clam uh, sheller over at uh, Eni News is saying that the charges are dropped against me. That's not true. That's an outright, outrageous lie. And he's trying to get rid of support to help me. And so that person has demonized me constantly over there, particularly after the headlines came out. They absolutely went in there and smashed me with everything they had day in, day out. It is a despicable person. An unconscionable, um, not like, they don't have any kind of moral whatsoever. I've read their comments over there. Uh, I am still ch criminally charged, they are still threatening me, they still want to do me, and I will still fight with everything I got. And so hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. Come on, give us a quick hug. Daniel K. Delamine, Ice Cream for you. Terry Ann, Elaine, Albert, everybody else is out there. Miss Milky, Shanigan, Mass, uh, Mickey, James, Jamie's out there, I know. Uh, Atom, RWP. Kate, hi, hugs for Kate. Kate got the Fukushima hounds. I'll try to remember to put the links in. I'm starting to remember to put the links in on this site now, so. Yeah, hugs for everybody. Here you go. Take care, folks. Uh, it was a good stream, a little weird, because I didn't, really didn't want to do a stream, but I, you know me, I got to do the stream. I felt I got to come out there and talk about this constantly because we might save somebody's life by doing it. 
Now, might we will. That's just the way it really truly is. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. <laughs>